to this one classroom in a classroom a teacher notices that all the m students were january born he walks into the classroom and tells the students that if no two students shared a birthday he would take the entire class out for dinner but if some two students shared a birthday the class should take him out for dinner what should be the minimum value of m for the teacher to have a more than even chance of winning the bet calculator allowed a beautiful question I've, i've already said that calculator is allowed so i'm going to solve this also using a calculator i'm going to go through this question again a teacher notices that all the m students were january born he walks into the classroom and tells the students that if no two students shared a birthday he would take the entire class out for dinner but if some two students shared a birthday the class should then take him out for dinner okay. what should be the minimum value of m for the teacher to have a more than even chance of winning the bet more than even is more than 50% even chance is 50 50 okay. brilliant now we know we can use a calculator i'm going to use a more sophisticated calculator i'm going to use an excel file okay. so let's say we have number of students we put that in a box let's say we start with some number let's say we have start with two students number of days we are talking about the month of january 31 days right now first think about total number of possibilities fine so we are basically saying there are two students and 31 days are there what are the total number of possibilities what are the maximum possible combinations for my denominator what are the superset each of the students could have been born in any one of these 31 days so total number of possibilities is 31 into 31 and now i want them to have been born on different dates i want them to have been born on different dates and so one is born on jan 3 another one should have been born born on jan 6th if they have born on the same date then the professor wins the bet and so we want to find probability of people being born on this or some two people being born on the same date i'm going to flip the question i'm going to think about the probability that the two of them are not born on the same date so they are born on different dates and how many ways is that possible 31 into 30 means born on different dates why 31 and 30 i could have first guy born on jan 1st second guy could have been born on 2 to 31 any dates jan 2nd 1 to 31 except that same date it would have been born on any other date so we are looking at probability of birthdays not coinciding so the two are all of them the two of them have different birth dates are born on different dates probability of birthdays coinciding is just a complement of this birth dates coinciding both of them on the same date equal to 1 minus this i'm going to go over this process again say there are two students 31 days in january totally the 31 into 31 possibilities brilliant the prob the number of ways in which they could be born on different dates is 31 into 30 fine it's not 31 free 2 to 31 into 30 because we're doing 31 into 31 here and so 31 p2 31 into 30 probability of birthdays not coinciding that mean that given that there are two people what are the chances that they are both not born on the same date that mean they have been born on two different dates in january so what will that probability be 930 by 961 the other way of thinking about this this is nothing but 30 by 31 so the first guy let him be have been born on any one day of the month right so let's say jan 5th second day should have been born in january but not on 5th any of the other 30 days 30 by 31 this matches i've done it deliberately like this because i want to be rigorous about the process but now i'm going to increase this i'm going to say let the number of students be 3 right there are three students 
then the number of possibilities cannot be 31 into 31 into 31. I'm going to say this will be this is 31 raised to the power 3. This number will be permute 31 comma 3. This probability would be this number by this number. This is 1 minus that. Remember, if there are even 3 people, the chances of birthdays coinciding shoots up to 10% nearly. And I'm going to write this number as a percentage. I'm going to write this like this. And then say, let's see this as a percentage. And this is a formula now. So this is a brilliant tool, Excel. So we put this as 4. This will change. For 4 students, there's a near 20% chance that they will that some two will have the same birth date. Five student near 30% chance. Six student 40% chance. Seven students 52% chance. So if there are seven students and I am a professor entering into a class and I know all of them were born in January, then you are ready to fire away. You say look, if some two of you share the same birthday, then you've got to do all the work for me. If this doesn't happen, then I'll do some work for you. The odds are, this is still probabilities, right? So then there's no certainty here. It's a better than even chance that you'll win this bet. Think about it intuitively. Suppose there are seven students under 31 days in January. We're conditioned to thinking 31 days. They have to pick seven. The chances are, what are the chances that they have the same birthday? It's very unlikely, remote, not possible. So you think that seven is too small for one to have an even chance. It is not the case. There are seven students. The professor has the better than even chance of this happening. Now I'm going to escalate this. What is the fun in thinking about a classroom where you know all the people there have been born in January? Of course, that's not going to be the case. You're going to walk into a random class where people might have been born on any day. So this number is going to be 365. But remember, because we are working off an Excel sheet, all of these remain the same. For eight students, it will go up. Nine, it will go up. Ten, it will go up. It's jumping, so I'll also jump. Fifteen, it goes up. Twenty, it goes up to 41%. Twenty-five, it goes up to 57%. So Twenty-two, and work. Twenty-three works. Or, if you enter into a classroom, if you're ever teaching probabilities, and you enter into a classroom and you see a class of let's say 40 students and you should say look hey there are 40 of you what are the chances that some two of you will share the birthday it looks like the chances are low there are 365 days but there are 40 students thinking about 40 being spread across 365 you think that is very much possible there are 40 students it is very likely that no two of them have the same birthday but plonk this is 40 there's a 90% chance that some two birthdays will coincide. So if ever you take a class on probabilities and you enter into a classroom, there are 40 students, take up the bet. Call up the class representative, make him or her stand and say, okay, as an introduction to this classroom, I'm going to say that if no two of you share a birthday, then I'll take you out for dinner. If some two of you share a birthday, then you, get, you should sponsor dinner for me they take you upon it then it's likely to be a wonderful class they have a happiness to gambling and they're willing to listen to you because they're they don't have their basics in place and it's a beautiful question because to us intuitively it looks like if there are 40 students then the 365 days the large number and only 40 students the good chance that no two of them will have the same birthday whereas there is a 90 percent nearly 90 percent chance that some two will share a birthday so it's a beautiful question because um, the, 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 the so-called intuitive thing that we think of automatically is wildly different from, from the answer, actual what, what the numbers tell us. This number were 23, then you have a better than even chance of some two people in their class having been born on the same date. And brilliant question, brilliant idea, a classic idea to say how probabilities uh, can be slightly unusual on occasion.